keep the bathrooms unlocked or install a keypad on them so that specific people who would want to use them would then request a, a personal code that they would then use and that way they could track uh, the usage and make sure that it's not being used for any bad reasons. Uh, can I read the letter? Um, the readers, uh, so this is the letter that I'm proposing to send. We hope this letter finds you well. The Sequoia Student Senate is writing with regards to the accessibility of gender neutral restrooms at Sequoia. Specifically, we would like to address an ongoing issue that some of our transgender and non-binary students are facing. As you know, there are currently gender neutral restrooms available on campus, such as the one near Jim Food. While these restrooms are intended to provide a safe and comfortable space for students who do not feel comfortable using gender facilities, some transgender students have reported that these bathrooms are often locked, making them inaccessible when needed. In light of this, we respectfully ask that the administration consider keeping the gender neutral restrooms unlocked during school hours. We understand that there may be concerns about inadequate behavior, but we believe there are solutions that can balance accessibility with managing proper conduct. One possible option could be the installation of a keypad lock, where specific students could be provided with a personal code to access the restroom. This would allow the administration to track usage and ensure that the space is being used appropriately, while also making it more accessibility, well, while also making it more accessible for students to rely on. We believe that ensuring equal access to safe and inclusive facilities is an important step towards fostering a supportive environment for all students at Sequoia High School. By addressing this concern, we would be helping to make our school a more inclusive and welcoming space for everyone, regardless of gender identity. Thank you for your attention to this matter. We appreciate your commitment to the well-being of all students, and we're happy to, to discuss this issue further or send representatives to provide additional details. Okay. Um, so yeah, you how do you vote? Yeah, so basically what we're voting here to do is this is like the first one like this. Um, we're basically approving, um, deciding if we as a group want to send it on behalf of the student senate to the administration, asking for them to make some change and um, raising a concern, yeah. Uh, just as a addition to this, speaking to like the boys' bathroom, one of the three main boys' bathrooms, at least from like on, is always locked, mm -hmm. which sort of get used to wouldn't be that bad. But when one of the other boys' bathrooms is, for example, closed for maintenance, they do not unlock the boys' bathroom that is normally locked, which means we have one out of the three bathrooms in the entire school, which makes it a bit difficult because if you're on the other side of the school, you have to walk all the way across school. And I would just like to say we should probably be updating the change with that too. Yeah, I, I think that, that is, that's super important and definitely a conversation that we should have. I think that we should keep it separate from this, so we have to remain the votes on this, but like, I think we should definitely talk I'm about taking notes. Like, what I would like to see is things out of this, like the voicing of concerns we pass it on, so we're not just gonna shut that down. I'll definitely add it, even though that was an issue, so um, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, so for sure. Um, so any questions about this specifically before we vote on if we wanna send it to the administration? Any maybe addition, something that we don't wanna add? Okay, perfect. And then I just want to like let you know, and it's like Sasha came to meetings, so this is something important to talk about. Um, this is like we don't have to be just like it's really great to vote about like the dance theme, which we'll do later, and like this is an event that we can have. But really, this is like the power of the school. It's like pretty good teams, and then actually have support behind it to hopefully create changes. I know the administration will do from this. Um, so, like in the future, these are things that you can do if you feel something. I, th I think what Ethan's goal is, is that right now, like, I, I think there's things that you guys probably are all frustrated with or, you know, would like to improve, and there's not really an avenue or no one really knows about how you would go about presenting that. We're hopeful that with instances like this, if we, in an organized, cohesive way, present issues through this body to administration, that this will become the, that avenue. This will become the opportunity that you have, and so people might start thinking, <clears throat> hey, you know, uh, 
we, you know, really want to see this tweak to the lunch menu, or we really do have issues with the foul schedule, or things like that. Things that get voiced maybe in your club settings or just amongst your friends, you bring them to this body. This body can agree with them, further them, we can type them up, and then when we're hopeful that when the administration receives communication from student senate, that it carries some weight. So, um, Sasha, thank you so much for bringing that as a really good example of like something that we want to address and that we hope to provide a little bit of like oomph to when you guys have concerns. Right. It's, yeah, it's an avenue of support, right? It's different than when you're raising a concern and then when you have like a 90 person student group representing the, the school that we can actually get some cool stuff. Like so, and you're not only like representing your own issues, right? You're here to represent your organization. So whatever issues are raised from your organization, feel free to bring them. Okay. Let's vote on it, Sam. Do you want to? Yeah. Sure. Um, so, if you're on the slideshow, it should be. Uh, if you're on the, oh my God, the sheet, not the slideshow. If you're on the, uh, the sheet at the bottom, you should have the tab SO04 um, that has our voting style, which should be approved rate, which means you can scroll down and find your name and go to approve. Uh, We'll give you a minute to do that before we lock it. Just let me know if you can't find it. It should be on this one. PA system does not work. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Ruby, Sophia, do you want to come up and talk about formal? Plug. I know we've got all four grades in the room. If you um, have attended a winter formal before, you know that it's one of our, probably our most popular uh, dance, most popular event of the year. We usually are between 750 and 800 attendees at that winter formal dance. Uh, so we expect more of the same this year. Um, 
Tickets will go on sale sometime in mid-January. Uh, we'll do a one-day sale, and then the, the date of the event is February 1st. It's a Saturday uh, over at the Fox Theater. So we're excited to do that. Um, same thing, if, uh, if there's ever any conversations going on in your friend groups or your clubs about things that you wish happened at dances or things you wish were a little bit different, um, that's the type of conversation or comments that we would love to hear because it's, it's for the student body. We just want to uh, present an event that's enjoyable for you guys. So let us know any of those types of things. Uh, are there any questions or conversations about winter formal? About the theme, or you feel comfortable with it? Cool. No questions? Perfect. Okay, Sam. Let's move to the right. We're just moving to approve if we feel comfortable or not with the theme. The dance committee can move forward with planning the dance. The same deal as before. The top should just be listed under the number of player, which should be number 65. Just find your name. Okay, about like 20 more seconds. I think we can all move to vote still before we lock it. Okay, let's lock it. Okay, passes 22, 22.05. Um, so the dance committee will move on with planning that. Also, I'm just thinking now, logistically, when we send that letter on behalf of some tenants, how do we want that to be presented? Like, should I just email it to them? Should I go in with like a physical copy of it? You're saying uh, these groups do something in collaboration yeah. where there's a day where there's almost like a science yeah. or STEM fair in the yeah. You got thoughts about that as an idea? Like, like, really Doing a STEM fair could be really cool, especially because I know a lot of clubs look for like bigger events they can put on, especially because it's something that you can send your club towards a goal and if it's bigger and you're working with other clubs, you can find some cool stuff to do. Yeah. Is there a 
This one's not broken. Okay. We'll add it to the form to say if you're interested, and then if we pass it, I'll work with Olivia to email those groups and send it to you. I would just say I, I really like the idea because I, I'm imagining myself if I were part of the physics club, like the idea of doing a quad takeover as a solo group is, is fairly intimidating. Like how do we fill that space, how do we fill that energy. But if we're one of ten um, and we're side by side with other groups, to me I, I, that, would, that might be appealing, might lower the bar the barrier to entry. I think it's also a great opportunity for these clubs to like raise their engagement and participation. If like people see that the robotics club isn't just like a myth of a thing, but it's actually like they're making stuff with it and then they can showcase what they're actually doing, then I would assume more people would be doing that or be interested in it. Yeah. Izzy? Um, I just come, kind of have a question. Would this be more like a showcase or like an interactive thing where like people could go to the tables and like do activities or would you just be like showcasing like things or that would be up to the like club? I guess like I like both. Autonomy for the club to decide yeah. what makes sense for you guys. Yeah. Do you have a time idea, Olivia? Is this like a you know after winter break type thing, or were you thinking before, or not sure yet? Uh, not really sure. Like probably after next Yeah. Maybe I think. Yeah, I think like if we pass this, let's um, the grab bag committee and ASD or other uh, committee will work with you to set a date. Um, and work with the different clubs and kind of like manage manage the administration of this. But I think some second semester would make sense for this, right? Like we all feel like maybe midway through second semester. Okay. And then we can. And then I think that also, like as Sam was saying, that like gives clubs time if they want to build something or like have a project or something they want to showcase them. Have time to Maybe we could target finalizing a roster in the last Senate meeting of the semester. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it next month. Okay. Thanks, Olivia. Um, any other questions?
putting on like some tables to give out information about holidays. We wanted to make it a more interactive, involving the student groups if they wanted to post their own holiday table. And just sort of make it a little bit bigger this year, kind of take it the next step up. And so this is also, I don't know if anyone remembers, we did like the snow on the roof. This is, that's, th this, this holiday fair is kind of when we were doing this. So yeah, we just wanted to see kind of gauge interest if any student groups also wanted to uh, join in on the planning for this, take on a holiday table or post a little activity table. Yeah, so we're just, we're just really just, this week we kicked off the planning for this holiday fair. So we just, Wanted to let y'all know on the next Yeah, so we're voting uh, student groups want to join in to and expand it. Does anyone have any questions on like what it is, what that would look like? What Maybe also questions or concerns about the way it happened last year, if there are any, or? Yeah. Do people like remember it? Kind of, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah, go ahead. Well, I think we were expanding other people to the driveway. Or like the driveway area? It would depend on how many like groups wanted to join on to it. Uh, we could probably accommodate like five more, ten more maybe in the quad. But if it goes beyond that, I think we would have to make it like that. But I think what's nice about we have roof access that is in the quad, you know. Yeah. We can go like in the breeze way. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great question. Anyone else? We all dress up like basketball. What do you mean? Like, like basketball? Like okay. Izzy, I have an idea for dressing up like basketball. All right. Yeah. Superhero, but that's me. Like, uh, um, anything else? Yeah. Construction, sure, classic. 
Anyone else? Okay, we'll add those to the the vote we do on that one. I think for that vote, we'll probably do our first approval style approval style vote, where we just like I'll explain it next time, but know that we'll basically just take a bunch. Um, and Wednesday spotlights, you can indicate as usual if you want to do Wednesday spotlights on the form that we have in a second. Quad takeovers, you can do the same for that. And then our club directory has been posted on the website, so you can look at that. I don't think you can share it, but because the screen's weird. But um, in the sheet, if you go, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the sheet. If you go on the bottom and you see TOC, that's our table of contents for all of the votes and like what happened with the votes. Also in there is linked um, the meeting slides. So if you go on the meeting slides, you can click through and find the directory. Um, yeah, so if you're representing a club or organization, you have a page in that directory. It has your information where you meet. Um, you can talk to you halls if that's like incorrect, but it should be right. And yeah, it's a great way of we're showcasing our seven new club meeting groups. Yeah, and we're gonna distribute some hard copies in Spanish for example. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is open floor time. Does anyone? I know we're like getting to the end of the semester, so we have some last stuff going on. But anyone has stuff that they want to share? Go through with like stuff that they want to discuss. Yeah. So I'll ask. Oh, you were still in my head thing. No, okay. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. What's that? Um, I think it's a conference. <laughs> Sophomore student taught chocolate in the quad, quad for the next two Wednesdays. Oh, that's fun. What's it for? Candy? Okay, anyone else have stuff going on? Final weekend of punk. You want to go see the musical and support your people? Thank <laughs> you. Talk to you. Um, okay, anything else? Perfect. Um, let's do our end of meeting free check in. Scan this. We're already almost at the end of the semester, guys. I hope you're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
guys have anything they need to share about what our club's working on and stuff that's like happening? Yeah. Yeah, show the woman, Anyone else has stuff that's going on? Oh, we're going to get yeah. So has everyone scanned the form that needs to scan it? Okay, perfect. We are adjourned. Our next meeting is December 5th. Girl, I set that date. I think you get it.